Keisha, where are we going? Athanastus to William Watson Lodge, which is a wheelchair accessible cabin for only $25 a night, I think even less. That's just completely like wheelchair accessible, has all the lifts, but what do we have to provide? We needed to bring food, bedding, um, I think that was it, right? Toiletries. Oh, and toiletries. We got our bedding, some suitcases. We're all packed up back there. And then you can show the smoke and stuff. It is a little smoky out here. We got some wildfires up north, so it's blowing its way down here. Typically, you'd be able to see those mountains so clearly, so that's how much smoke we're dealing with right now. The smoke kind of faded away the closer we got to Kananaskis. So here's some beautiful mountains. They're building a new animal crossing here. So what they do is these arches, they don't want deers and stuff to cross the highway and then you hit them. So they're gonna put grass and stuff on top of that and build fences so that the deers walk that way. And when they need to cross the road, they can walk over this. And then for us, it's just a big tunnel. so many bugs on the window. Because the cabin didn't supply food or didn't have any restaurants around, we had to stop in Canmore to grab some groceries for the next couple days and stop at McDonald's. So we're at the McDonald's in Canmore and it has a huge wheelchair accessible spot. So a really cool thing about this McDonald's, which I think all McDonald's have this, just I usually go through the drive through it had an accessibility button on the touchscreen to bring everything lower so that I could do it all myself and be able to reach it at my wheelchair level. So I thought that was really cool and really inclusive. Got our groceries and all of our stuff and we are ready to go. Had to make a quick pit stop. We have no service. We're at the Kananaskis Visitor Center where they'll got our free pass. Make sure you have your updated H card. Mine was expired, um, but I still had the other one. Um, and there's no service out here, so make sure you know where you're going. Aiden had to go inside and go ask for directions. Okay, Keisha, we got the parking figured out. We had to go to the Kananaskis visitor information center and they even actually offered us right away they said did you have your benefits card i can get you free parking and then we're on our way to william watson lodge now am i missing it i got two maps and i don't know how to read any of them what do we got here some sheep and we made it to the guest check-in before you get settled into your cabin, you have to check in at the main lodge. And this is it. Also forgot to mention that there's absolutely no cell service and no Wi-Fi. So here they have an area where you can come and take out puzzles, games that they have there. And they also have shuffleboard that you can go and play. They have an access outside to get to the back. You can also go through the main lodge that I just showed you to get back there to go see this beautiful view. And yes, you heard me right. There's absolutely no Wi-Fi and no cell service. So just make sure you know that ahead of time so you can plan. We didn't have that luxury. We found out an hour before we were getting there. But it's totally worth the view. We got our key from the main lodge and we're on our way to the cabin's E. We're here for two days. Can we do it? Will we go insane? Or will we just... Such good spirit in our Insanely in love with you or something. What? No, it's not. It's 
So this, this is literally like a mini. Actually, you know what? This is better than the apartment that we live in. What? This is just a better layout. Nice. And there's a track so you can attach your lift. The hook's in here. Yeah. Oh, this recliner is a stand-up recliner. One thing I didn't think about. See? We do, unfortunately. Well, lucky for me, we get to sleep in different beds. And there's a track on the ceiling in here, too. And... Although Keisha should probably be doing this and not me. That's why y'all are here. We got a door to our little, oh, it's locked. <laughs> to our little patio with a barbecue. Oh, rattles when I walk. It has the same oven. Oh yeah. The cabin does come supplied with some essentials for cooking, but I would recommend looking into exactly what they have just in case you need other things. And as you can see, the countertops are quite low, even for Aiden. It's lower than his hips, and even for me as a quadriplegic in my power chair, it's quite low. But for a paraplegic, it's probably perfect. Burger complete. After dinner, we decided to go explore. So this is underneath the balcony. We're out in the wilderness now. They've got a... They've got a big ramp so you can get down here. I have very high anxiety with um, animals and stuff in the wilderness. So we went like five minutes into it and that was too much. So maybe tomorrow we'll go 10 minutes into it? Oh, yeah. So, because they have the tracks here, you do have to bring your own sling from home. But, if we bring ours from home, like we did, we can just take it into the bedroom, and they have the track on the ceiling. And even our one at home, it's just a carabiner. And then you find the little hook up here. This is hard to do one-handed. Oh, got it. You clip it on. And now, it's just like we have at home. So while I was hanging the sling, Keisha was getting confident in the stand-up chair over here, so she wants to show off a new trick. I think it's a little dangerous for her to be trying, but... I don't think you have any tricks, Mr. Yeah, this might be a fail compilation, but... I don't think you go further than that. I would stand upright. Oh, yeah. Nice trick. So now that I got the lift attached, and Keisha was in that fancy chair, so I had to pick her up and put her in here. Last step. So Keisha is facing her anxiety and we are going to go venture into the wilderness. 
the one thing maybe we don't understand what it's for but it's a little annoying are on a lot of these trails there's these bumps here so when keisha goes over it's like thump 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 especially if i don't see it yes they do have a lip for you to go up for like a wheelchair person but if she's not paying attention to the ground then it's thump 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 and again again maybe we just don't know what the purpose of them is but they're a little annoying so right now we're trying to find a water source not because we're thirsty because we want to see some So here they are again, though, at the map sign, at the intersections. So we are thinking, like, maybe they're, because there's people on bicycles around here, too. We're thinking maybe they're, like, a, a stop signaler for people on bikes to pay attention. Like the but, rumble strips on the road. Yeah. But we don't, we, we don't really know yet. And I feel more safe, so there's a group ahead of us. So I feel like... If there's a bear, we just need to outrun them. On the way to the lake, there's quite a few lookout points. So we took a stop and took some pictures. And the paths are really, really like wheelchair accessible, they're really wide, and they're not all bumpy at all. They're probably pretty new, so the tree stumps haven't had the chance to grow and wreck it, right? I would say that mixed with they probably take extra care of it because of the fact that everyone who rides these is in a wheelchair and stuff. Yeah. Even just bike paths, like, a lot of people bike these paths and you wouldn't want tree stumps to have the concrete all over. Lake. I'm not even have a accessible sign for the lake. And the railing, so Keisha doesn't fall off. She's gonna be a sketchy driver sometimes. Both. Just in general. We can do that. So, should we go down this path or the paved one? Oh, you are entering a bear travel corridor. Prevent a surprise encounter. Look and listen for bear signs. Make noise, travel in groups, keep pets on leash, carry bear spray. When we got down to the lake, they had this setup for people in wheelchairs that can go right under and look through the little binoculars and be able to see everything. Usually when we go to places like this, they have these, but they're never wheelchair accessible. You can't get under them and they're always usually way too high. So that was so cool. The paved path also went pretty close to the lake, though it didn't go right up to it. But it was pretty cool to be so close and have such an amazing view. They also had this park that was semi wheelchair accessible. Uh, not having the rocks and sand under there definitely helps be able to just be able to go around. And it also had a ramp up to the stuff, but there was a little bit of a bump, so I didn't want to go up. And then this path just leads us right back to our cabin. It's literally like a one minute stroll to the park and only like five to 10 minutes max to the lake. I hope you liked the video and I hope that you guys do go check out William Watson Lodge. It's amazing. And the sheep from our way in are still over here. They're just in the same spot.